This is Dr. Paul. If you're looking for healthy water and you've looked up anything about alkaline water on the internet, you've seen there's an abundance of information, with some of it very confusing and some of it even conflicting with itself. Why all the buzz about alkaline water when it's only one of the things that helps make water better for you? It gives you better benefits of drinking water. So let's talk a little about pH water or water pH. pH stands for potential hydrogen and is the standard way to measure whether something is acidic, neutral, or alkaline. We sure don't want to be drinking acid water, and yet that's what most of us drink. pH is a logarithmic scale, which means each number on the scale is 10 times different than its neighbor to either side. A simple scale will be written as 1 through 14, with 7 being the neutral point. Any number less than 7 represents acidic, and any number higher than 7 represents alkaline or basic. The reason this is so important is that the pH of any solution affects its chemistry and whether it will react or do nothing. Human blood has a very narrow range of pH from 7.35 to 7.45. That is the ideal range for all of the biochemical reactions that are required to support life when interacting with blood. It's how your body works. If your blood pH drops to 7.0, which is a neutral pH, that can lead to coma or even death. That's how critical blood pH is, and so the body has several mechanisms to protect it. Other parts of the body have slightly different pH depending on their function, but overall, almost all of our body needs to stay slightly alkaline, just to the right of neutral 7. The act of living produces acid within our tissues and cells, and it doesn't just magically disappear from our bodies. There are a multitude of reactions that happen in an attempt to clear our bodies of acid buildup, the chief one being breathing. Did you know that with every breath you expel acid from your body? It's called CO2 carbon dioxide, and it transfers from your blood to your lungs, and you breathe it out. Your kidneys also help regulate blood pH, and therefore, body pH. The urine your kidneys create is manipulated for pH as your blood is filtered through the kidneys. Most people have slightly acid urine in the morning, pH 6.5 to 7.0, and this is a means to eliminate more acid from the body that has accumulated through the night. Eating alkaline foods, or should I say foods that cause alkaline reactions in the body, has been shown to help keep the body alkaline but it's not nearly as effective as the breathing mechanism is. So now we get to the idea of alkaline water helping the pH balance of the body. The debate continues about bottled water versus tap water. I actually saw a headline a while back on the internet that said, Miracle Water. We hear about Miracle Water, but what actually is it? I think they're referring to alkaline water. I'm seeing more and more alkaline water brands popping up in bottles on water store shelves. People seem to be focusing on just one aspect of water that makes it better for you. Here's what I mean. You can make almost any water alkaline by putting a strong alkaline substance in it that everyone knows. It's called baking soda or bicarbonate. If the alkalinity of water is the only thing you're trying to improve, then I would suggest baking soda would be one of the simplest and cheapest ways to do it. But it's not the only way. I once walked into a water store in Las Vegas to ask about the alkaline water this store advertised it was selling. As an interested customer inquiring about alkalinity, the owner told me he had alkaline water machines in the back, but that the bottled water shelf life of the alkaline water wasn't long enough so he could sell it that way. He's right. The alkaline water produced by a machine lasts only a few days at best, but a superior water ionizer will do far more than simply make alkaline water. Then he directed me to bottles of water he had in a small fridge that he said he made using coral calcium. They would keep alkaline for weeks, and that's often how long he said it took him to sell them. I knew exactly what he was talking about. Putting coral calcium in the water is the exact same idea as putting baking soda in water. It alters only the pH of the water and doesn't change other properties of ideal water that supports life better. The point I want to make here is that alkalinity of water is only one part of ideal drinking water, and it's very easily manipulated with any alkaline substance that can be mixed into it, such as baking soda or coral calcium. There are several others to be sure. 
Water that will better support life has alkalinity as only one of its features. If you'd like to learn more about this, please join Colleen and I, a couple of water experts, over at NoBSWater.com for a free water education webinar. We'll cover alkalinity as well as some other important aspects of water that just can't be created with simple pH manipulation using substances dissolved in water. We'll show you not only that all water is not the same, but that some are actually far better for your health than others. I'm inviting you to join us for some very real, very accurate, and useful information where you can actually follow the admonition that seeing is believing. We're going to show you. So I'm inviting you to join us in getting to the bottom of some really important ideas to help you and your family. Come on over and join us at NoBSWater.com.